My name's Daniel and I am the farmer here at Buckmore End Farm. Um, we're based in the Chiltern Hills, um, not too far from Wendover and Prince's Risborough. We're a mixed farm, so we grow cereals, we grow crops and um, we also rear livestock. Um, so I'll just show you around a bit. Got a lovely view here up on um, we're up on Beacon Hill today. Um, so just over in the, uh, the distance there, we've got some of our arable crops growing. Um, you might just be able to make out the roof of some of the farm buildings just um, in the distance there near those trees. So what I what we're going to talk about in this short video is um, we're going to introduce you a bit to our our livestock production and the process of getting meat from um, from the farm to to your fork so here we are down at our pig field um, the pigs pigs are born um, on the farm we've got some um, pig sheds at the farm where we keep our sows and a boar um, we only produce pigs for <clears throat> for our shop only whereas with the the lamb and the beef um, we produce a lot more than we sell through our shop on the farm so some of that will go on um, on a commercial basis but with the pigs we only produce um, what we can what we can sell in our shop so we've got three sows and a boar on the farm um, each sow has a litter of approximately 12 piglets um, twice a year and at about eight weeks old they come down to the pig field um, so we've got we've got a few pens we've got the this is the nursery pen um, so they get weaned about eight weeks old weaned off the sows weaned off the milk and um, they come down here um, they come into the nursery pen for four to five weeks um, just helps us monitor their feed intake make sure they're getting enough food um, and then they come out of the nursery pen um, out the nursery pen and into the growers pen so um, we've got a litter of growing pigs there um, and then when they they come out of the growers pen and go into the top pen um, up the top there and that is our finishers pen um, so the whole process from um, from birth to to finishing ready for pork is about six six to eight months um, because they're because they're grown outdoors you don't get many free range outdoor pigs these days um, because of it you know it does take that bit longer than when they're when they're reared indoors um, but the pork obviously tastes a lot a lot better so life for our lambs starts here in the in the lambing shed we at the start of lambing we had all uh, about 150 ewes in in here um, the, the pen went out into the yard um, it was much bigger, but as they have their lambs, we, we scale back the size of the pen to um, give us more space. And um, <clears throat> when, they, when they're close to lambing or when they've just had their lambs, they move into, into here, the maternity pens. Um, so we've got eight, eight small pens here. Um, so after, after they have their lambs, we bring them into the, the, the lambing pens um, and it gives them a chance just for a couple of three days to, uh, to mother up with their young. So in this pen here, um, this one was born last night. It's quite a big lamb. Um, she did have a bit of difficulty in, um, in having the birth naturally. So um, we did get involved in that one. Um, just helped it along a bit got the lamb out safely um, so yeah the lambs lambs stay in here with their mothers for 
two or three days, maybe a bit longer if there's any problems. Sometimes you have, um, have things like prolapses or um, the odd touch of mastitis. Um, so any cases where they might have to stay in longer or receive any treatment for um, any ailments, then they'll stay in that bit longer. But generally they'll be in here for two or three days and then um, we'll get them straight back out to the field. So here we are in our cow shed. Um, we've got two sides to the, the cow shed. We keep the growing, um, the growing cattle and the, the fat cattle over on that side. Um, so these guys over here, um, some, of them are, some of them are finished, some of them are ready to go for, for beef. Um, some of the smaller ones, um, like these, these smaller ones over here, uh, they, they're gonna go out to the field and um, they're gonna grow on a bit, bit longer. And then on this side, we've got the, the cows. Uh, we bring, bring the cows in over winter um, and these guys are all, these guys on this side are all going to start calving pretty soon. Um, so we're going to turn them out to the field. Sometimes they carve indoors, um, sometimes they carve down on the straw, but if we can we like to try and get them out to the field for their carving. When you, when you bring animals indoors you've got a bigger risk of, you know, bigger risk of transferal of diseases, um, and other other sort of other sort of pressures on their health. Whereas when they're outside, it's a much cleaner environment, um, much more natural environment. So um, we'll try and get them outside, and um, they can have their have their calves outside. So we're just going to load them on, load a couple of them onto the trailer now, and take them out to the field. Here we are out in uh, in the field where we're going to turn the cows out to. So. They've been in the shed for, um, well they came in the shed in uh, towards the end of, end of December, um, it's now the first week in, in May so um, they've been inside for a few months and um, now the grass is growing and the weather's improved, um, we're going to put them out onto the grass. So uh, these guys up here, they they were turned out. Um, they were turned out a few days ago. It's a gradual process. We just bring two or three out at a time, um, let them get acclimatised before we bring a couple more out. And uh, as you can imagine, these old girls are pretty excited. They can see the fresh grass and. Uh, Keen to get out the trailer and um, go and go and join their buddies, so we'll let them out and watch them go. The other lot generally will come down and greet them. Cows are quite sociable animals, so. Um, They'll come down and get acquainted and uh, calmness will be restored to the herd. And this is where it all ends up. Our, um, our little farm shop in the Chiltern Hills. Uh, lovely, lovely spot to queue and wait for your uh, opportunity to enter the shop and buy some meat so um, I'll take you inside so we we make all our own um, make all our own pies in the shop here um, steak and ale pie there uh, we do sausage rolls and scotch eggs and things um, but obviously the main thing is our fresh meat counter so um, got some pork in there, um, all our pork, all our lamb and beef comes back from the butchers and um, we bring it back here all packaged and labelled and ready for sale. Um, in here we've got uh, our storage, our chiller, 
chili storage area where we um, where we keep most of the stock and then yeah we sell it from uh, from our counter there so that's a little bit about our livestock and how they get from the field and to your fork <laughs>